Hey Aries and welcome to my channel. I'm doing your love compatibility with all 12 zodiacs and where this is headed for the month of June 2019. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aries and um, I will be going through all 12 zodiacs to see where your relationship is headed and what to expect from each one. So thank you all for coming to my channel. If you haven't yet, uh, please do subscribe. For those of you who have already subscribed, thank you for your continuous support in my channel. All right. Let's see what we got here. Check it out down here. All right. Aries, you are coming in as the Six of Pentacles in reverse, um, clarified by the Knight of Rods. If you are an Aries dealing with another Aries, obviously put um, yourself in whichever position because um, there is a big opportunity for big love here. The two of you um, could have been out of balance in the past. There could have been an equal, an unequal um, distribution of energy between the two of you. Um, that is no longer change, or that is no longer the case with it being in reverse. You guys have balanced um, out the relationship, balanced out um, your. Uh, what you're contributing to the relationship as far as what you're taking as well. You're following your heart, following your passion, and this is leading to a big opportunity for a big time love. Um, loving Love for yourself first and foremost, and when you put that out, it is um, coming right back to you tenfold um, with another Aries. If you are an Aries dealing with a Taurus, they are... Uh, if you have not connected with this person yet, they are coming, they are leaving a situation um, from a tower moment. They are coming out of uh, another relationship, but they will come um, in your direction. Uh, it may be not anything serious at the moment. It could be just uh, based on sex uh, for the most part until they um, get through that time of healing, but it does have the potential to turn into something more. If you are already with a Taurus, they are exiting your life um, because you're too, uh, you're, you're not wanting a commitment with them. You're just wanting something fun passionate and in the moment and they're wanting something solid and stable and um, they are going to move away from this connection if that isn't something you're offering all right if you are an aries connecting with a gemini lots of celebration here lots of happiness um you guys could be uh attending a wedding or a, or a party at sometime during june but this is not a third party situation i do believe um if there was one in the past you guys are over it because you are in balance. There is an equal energetic balance here. Um, you guys are going to move forward quite quickly, but there's a lot of happiness here. A lot of good times for you and Gemini in June. I see this going to the next level within the next three to six months. If you are a Aries dealing with a Cancer, you are very attracted to them. They are looking very, very high vibration. Um, you could be coming just out of a relationship, Aries, um, not looking for anything serious until you meet this person. This cancer is going to knock you off your feet. They have, they are the entire package. They have the confidence. They have the finances. They have the, um, the sex appeal. They have the mind, the, the body, the soul. It all matches. It's all energetically in vibration. And you are quickly moving in the direction of this cancer um, because they have a lot to offer. I do see success in this. Um, relationship and moving forward um, very nicely throughout the month of June. If you are connecting with a Leo, um, things are coming to an end. If it if they have not ended already, they will be in the month of June um, due to an um, an out of balance relationship. There could have been a third party in this situation, um, but your Leo is very broken hearted. You could have been um, you know splitting your energy between them and somebody else. Um, you know, being in and out of the relationship, and this really broke their heart. Um, I do see this relationship not making it through the end of June if it hasn't broken up already because they are heartbroken over a third-party situation or the fact that you're just very in and out of the relationship. 
If you're an Aries dealing with a Virgo, it could be a life partner you are dealing with, but this Virgo is very confused. Um, not sure what they want. There is a lot of passion between the two of you. The two of you would bring each other balance, but they have a lot of um, illusions that they are working through. Um, people are intentionally confusing them, possibly, but at the end of the day, this Virgo is still staying confused throughout the month of June. There could be sex here between the two of you, but nothing serious. Um, they're not going to uh, fully commit until they figure out what this connection is and who and what they can believe. Um, so, um, like I said, there is a sexual um, connection here, but they're not going to commit until they figure that out. And I don't see that happening until July. All right, if you are an Aries dealing with a Libra, you are, um, things are ending in June, if not already. This is a breakdown of a foundation that was not stable, um, built on um, uneven ground. The two of you were not energetically putting into the same, the same amount into making this home, this relationship um, work between the two of you. Um, I do see uh, you, Aries, being... Uh, more than likely the one leaving this Libra. They are the one that wants the stable, loving home commitment from you. And you are uh, very flighty with this person, not wanting to settle down just yet. Um, I do see this ending in June, if not already. However, I do see for a lot of you, Aries, this will come back around. This is a relationship that will come back around. This is a divine connection. Um, within the next four weeks or four months, the two of you will come back together building this stable home. So um, there's just some things that need to be worked on, some hurts that need to be healed. But this is a divine partner for those of you Aries dealing with this Libra. Okay, if you are an Aries dealing with a Scorpio, the two of you are balancing each other out quite nicely. Um, in the past, there was an uneven, um, there was a lot of out of balance. There was some healing that needed to happen. Uh, your Scorpio is learning to go with the flow, allowing things to go in and out of their life that are no longer meant to be. Blessings are coming in and you are coming in very fast to the Scorpio's life. Um, if you're already dating this person, it's, it's going to the next level very quickly because of the, um, no longer resisting the change. And this is, this is everlasting love with that infinity sign and uh, figuring out how to uh, how to make the two of yours energies work together simultaneously, you know, in sync. You guys are figuring out how to get in, into sync with each other. Um, very positive connection with a Scorpio. This is uh, this is also very passionate, but uh, you guys are in the moment. You're grounded. It's realistic. It's not fantasy. Um, yeah, it's, it's not, it's in this, yeah, you know what I mean. It's more than just daydreaming and fantasies. You guys are making it really happen. All right, if you're an Aries dealing with a Sagittarius, they are coming to the end of a major life cycle. Um, if, if not coming out of a marriage, they are traveling a lot for work. Um, if you are the one that is married to a Sagittarius, the two of you could be separating um, due to not seeing eye to eye, due to, you know, not wanting the same things in life. Um, very, very in and out, the two of you. Um, if you are not dating a Sagittarius or in waiting for or wanting one, they are coming out or they are completing major, like a 30 year cycle or a seven year cycle or a three year cycle. They are, they're coming out of that this month in June after the, uh, new moon. I think it's June 3rd. Um, and they are going to be ready to commit to you. This will be very positive as well. The two of you will end up traveling for work or for pleasure, but it, um, will come together if you're in separation from a Sagittarius right now, or you want to, to get together with this person and you haven't yet. Um, big things coming for this couple. This is a power couple. Uh, yeah, lots of travel, lots of fun, lots of passion, but yet down to earth, um, and in it for the right reasons. Good intentions between the two of you. June looks fabulous for this group. All right, Capricorn, they're coming in with some news for you, and you may not like it, Aries. Um, they're going to tell you how they feel. They're not happy with the way that they were treated in the past. There's a, there was an imbalance between the two of you. They did not appreciate your flightiness, your unwilling to commit, or your, um, or your, um, entertaining other people other than them. 
they're telling you the truth and they're turning their back on you. Um, Aries, Capricorns, for this group of you, they're walking out of your life in the month of June. Um, turning their back on you. Not saying this won't come back together again, but um, a lot of healing needs to be done by this Capricorn before they can um, forgive and move on and uh, start anew with you, Aries. All right, Aquarius, they're offering you love, Aries. Um, they're coming in a little bit lower vibration with the Page of Cups. They may be a little bit younger than you, um, but they still have, uh, they still know what their heart wants, and their heart wants you, Aries. I do see the two of you coming together in June. Um, for those of you who are married, I do see a child being born, for, or you're getting pregnant in June. Um, so congratulations on that. But as far as, um, those of you who are not married, the two of you, this is going to come together in June and it's going to be innocent and, and pure or not pure, but innocent and, and new and fun. And the two of you are going to have a lot of, uh, exciting times getting to know each other. This is, this has a really youthful, fun energy to it. Um, Aries, this is going to be very successful in the month of June. Um, you are going to help them level up, mature. Um, I do see this for this group of you that is getting together with this Aquarius in the month of June. I do see a wedding in 2020 for the two of these, um, ones. All right. Pisces dealing with an or Aries dealing with a Pisces. They're coming towards you. They're getting out of a situation, um, where they had to, uh, give up on something that they emotionally invested in that they, uh, spent a lot of time working on. Um, but they're emotionally exhausted and they know it's the end of the road for them and this person. They are going to be, um, coming into your life the second week of June, um, in search of new love. Uh, the two of you are going to meet for the first time. This is not somebody you've been with, um, and sparks are going to fly. It's going to, it's going to be very, um, like the magnetic attraction between the two of you is amazing. If you are already paired with a Pisces, they're walking away. There is not enough commitment for them to keep doing this. Um, they're tired of waiting for you to leave a, another partner for some of you. Um, and they're walking away. They're setting out on their own spiritual journey. Um, needing more than a commit, needing more than what is being offered. They want a commitment. Um, for those of you who are married, uh, there is paperwork being filed in the month of July for this group of you, July or August, because um, there's been infidelity in the relationship and they can't find a way to forgive that. So, all right, Aries, that is what I got for your 12 Zodiac uh, June reading. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. God bless.